I'm Dr. Anita, your fertility specialist. Today, we'll discuss about the factors affecting the IUI success in infertility treatment. As such, the success rate in IUI is around 10 to 12 percent only. Maximum is 15 percent, provided all factors are normal. So, we'll just see what are those factors. Mainly four factors. One is patient factors. Another is timing of intrauterine insemination and technique what we do and mainly UTL phase support. So these four factors will affect the IUI success. So coming to the timing or coming to the patient factors that is why it should be like when we do the stimulation of the ovaries the maximum follicle should be three not more than three. So if it goes beyond three also the success rate will fall and if it is less than two or one also the success rate will be less. Another is tubal factors. So bilateral tubes when we check go for IUI, both the tubes should be perfectly patent. There should not be any blockage in the tubes or either at least one tube should be functional. So if one tube is func functional also, same side ovulation happens, then IUI can be successful. So provided both tubes are perfectly patent and ovulation at least minimum two to three follicles, then success rate will be better. Other than the tubal and the ovulatory factors, the uterine factors that is, the endometrial lining should be minimum more than 8 to 8.5, ideally more than 9 millimeters, then the success rate will be better with good vascularity. Coming to the husband factors, that is the male factors, semen analysis, the count should be at least minimum of 10 million, total count should be minimum of 10 million per ml. In that, motile sperm should be 5 million then only the success rate with IUI will be at least 15 percent maximum 15 percent why this 10 to 12 percent or why not 100 percent why not 80 percent in IUI because it's a blind technique so we'll be monitoring the follicular growth we'll be giving injections for the follicles to release and ovulation should happen and then the tubes has to catch the released oocyte and the semen we will be depositing this processed sperms into the uterine cavity close to the tubes so that we here in IUI we will increase the density and concentration of the sperms in the uterine cavity and we will decrease the distance between the oocyte as well as the sperm thereby increasing the uh, success rate by 10 to 12 percent so if the pregnancy happens, all these factors would have functioned correctly. If not, we cannot exactly analyze where the problem is as it's a blind technique. So coming to the other factors, that is timing of intrauterine insemination. When to do? See, there are two ways, double insemination and single insemination. So single insemination, that means when we give the trigger injection, after 36 to 40 hours ovulation happens that's the usual way physiological way so single insemination means we have to do after 36 hours or confirm the ovulation with the ultrasound even the ovulation would have occurred then do the single insemination or we can go for double insemination that is 14 to 24 hours or 18 to 24 hours first insemination prior to ovulation and second one is by after confirmation of the ovulation, we can do the second insemination after 36 hours. So whether it is double or single insemination, there is no any extra benefit or advantage, but we can go for it. Another is technique of intrauterine insemination. The lesser the manipulation, the lesser the trauma, the better will be the success rate. So the catheters what we use should be soft. It should not be traumatic or stiff catheter. The technique what we use that is minimal manipulation or minimal handling of the uterus, uh, cervix, other things with no touch technique, ultrasound guided, bladder being half full or full, then the success rate will be better compared to the more, the more trauma, the less the success is. So then coming to the after the insemination, the proper luteal phase support proper luteal phase support with adequate progesterone should be given to increase the success rate of intrauterine insemination. So all these factors will determine the success rate of intrauterine insemination. So whatever may be the success, it is maximum up to 15 or it can stretch up to 20%. Thank you.